Hi, Fire Signs. Welcome to your bonus reading, What's Coming In for 2020. So this is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is a new reading I'm going to be doing every month. It's Element bonus readings. So leave me a comment down below in the comment section of what kind of bonus readings you would like to see every month. I can do any kind of reading you would like, any kind of love topic, general topic. I can do pick a card. I can do past life. I can do uh, angel messages. I already do spirit messages, but I could do spirit messages. I could do, you know, what's going on with your ex. I mean, like I said, any kind of love topic. So any kind of reading, bonus reading you'd like to see for the, your element, please leave the comment below and I'll take all those into consideration. And every month, all the elements will get a bonus reading. So, so for this one, I decided since we're going into 2020, I'm going to do what's coming for you in 2020. And we're going to take whatever comes out here. It could be love, it could be general, it could be whatever here. So I'm thinking maybe for next month, I may do what's coming for you in love in 2020. But like I said, I want to give you what you want, what you would like to see. So leave me some comments below and uh, tell me what you'd like to see. So, okay, welcome all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming in for you for next year, for 2020. So welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy December. Happy early Christmas. New year. All right, I'll be starting all the new series for January pretty soon here. So all the love readings will be coming out, then the generals, and then the singles, and then the spirit messages. So um, I really love doing the spirit messages, but they really don't get a lot of views. But um, if you haven't checked it out, I would say go check out my channel. Check out all the readings if you like what you see. Uh, please do like the videos, comment, share, um, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. All kind of readings on my channel. All right, so let's see what's coming in for the fire signs for 2020. I probably get a couple cards here from, um, okay, so I guess these two. I'm going to get a couple cards here from each oracle, and then uh, we'll go over those with the tarot to give a little more of a meaning. So right here now we have man holding a coin and door to spirit. So in four and three here is seven and seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. And we have door to spirit here, which is uh, about that spiritual energy. And three and two is five, which is all about change. So, you know, the man holding a coin there, I mean, there could be uh, something. Seven can be also, like, that reminds me, like, the seven of pentacle energy or the king or queen uh, of pentacle kind of energy where maybe you've been investing in something. It could be with your career. It could be uh, anything here. And you've been patiently waiting to see the fruits of that labor uh, come in, you know, come into fruition, whether it is for you, if you're, you know, going back to school or if you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to um, excel in your career to a higher level. Um, I feel like something will, will change here. And that daughter spirit is all about just listening to, you know, your gut, your intuition, uh, being divinely connected kind of energy. So we're going to clarify those with tarot in a little bit here. So some of you may be becoming more spiritual and maybe that's the big change there. You know, three and two is five and that's all about change. So maybe you have been changing, you know, maybe you've gone from one religion or one way of a belief system or something like that, going into a, a more spiritual energy. So, and holding, you know, the coin is holding a lot of value and worth, stability, structure. So, all right, let's see what these, well, I shuffle these. Let's see what these are. So we have rhodochrosite. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So some of you may be recovering uh, from something in 2020 that you've gone through this year. And it's telling you just to be, uh, just be gentle with yourself. Sit, take some time for you. Allow yourself to go through the energies to heal, to really, you know, learn the value of the lessons. The man holding coins all about that value. And then we have chariot, charo, I don't even know how to say that. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected 
physically, emotionally, and energetically. Wow. So, and the purple there is all about, um, to me, like manifestation kind of energy, spiritual energy, so, and spiritual protection. So, daughter spirit. So, I feel like some of you have walked, have walked through that door of spirituality and now have connected into the spiritual world, the spiritual energy, and just know that spirit is protecting you in all ways. And they want you to be gentle with yourself. So, all right. So let's get a couple of these fire signs. Fire signs. All right. Let's see what these have to say. So we have prosperity begins. So this is the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So if some of you have been investing wisely here, your coinage, uh, or you've been investing in your career, Whatever here, this is divinely guided new beginning here based on prosperity, wealth, abundance, a stable new beginning. So things will be changing. You'll be, you'll be having this divinely new beginning that you've been investing in, been working towards. It could be, you know, a leveling up in your career. It could be a new job. It could be going to school and leveling up your education so you can advance in your career. It's all divinely um, guided for you here. So this is the Ace of Pentacles with the man holding a coin. So that is good energy there. So I see your uh, work, career, finances, gaining stability and a new beginning coming in, which would be long-term uh, career and with indefinite growth and abundance. So it's good energy here. So we have Harmony, six. So this is the lovers. So some of you may be coming into union here with a soulmate or a twin flame. Uh, so this is uh, spiritual harmony also, or love, you know, coming, or it could be peaceful, harmonious relationships, work, family, um, friends. Some of you may be coming into loving harmony with your soulmate. If you've been separated from a soulmate or someone who you believe is your soulmate or twin flame, I see harmony and peace and union coming in for some of you. And that could be the stable new beginning here with prosperity. You know, it could be work, finance, career, and also could be love, relationships. And that, you know, spiritual new beginning also. So I see a spiritual new beginning. I see a career finance new beginning, gaining stability, momentum, um, and relationship harmonies. Whatever that means for you. If you're not single, then I see uh, someone you're in a relationship with now or a bond strengthening and getting stronger for the long term. If you know, it could be work, friends, uh, family, lover here. So it's a good energy. So let's see here, fire signs. What's coming in 2020? Like manifesting all these things coming in here with the purple there with uh, spiritual protection. Spirit's also protecting you. So we have the king of wands. So <laughs> There's that fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. Yep, man holding a coin and the king of wands. They go after what they want. A lot of drive, ambition, uh, focus, creative energy, um, go-getter kind of energy. Definitely going after that coinage, going after that stability, going after that new beginning. What do we have here? All right. So we have here strength. So there's a Leo. Yep, having that strength, that courage. Being brave, strong, willpower, endurance, you know, taming the beast within, holding back, reining yourself when you need to, and knowing, knowing when you need to be strong, persevere on, having that, you know, and we have the infinity symbol here, so, as with the spiritual energy. So, let's see, and nine of swords, you know, stress, worry, fear, anxiety, um, maybe not sleeping at night, worrying about, you know, this path that you're going on, um, you know, where is it going? Where is it leading? W will things work out? Whether it's career, finance here, uh, am I investing wisely? Just like tossing and turning at night. I don't know if I'm making the right decision, but we got the chariot here. So this is all about, you know, moving forward fearlessly with a lot of drive and balance and being successful and victorious. That's a major arcana. So really, you know, really coming in 2020, moving forward um, victoriously with the strength and the King of Wands. So just know you're going in the right direction. So 
yeah, two of pentacles, really juggling around thoughts, ideas. Uh, am I doing the right thing? Is it the right choice for me? Again, pentacle, but again with the affinity symbol. So, and we have that twice here with strength and the two of pentacles. So really needing to balance out your energies out of this stressful, um, worried energy. You know, in the affinity uh, is, I feel like, a divinely guided energy that comes in and out for you. Maybe you're not paying attention to it. That's the door to spirit. Like, really listen to that energy. You know, don't second guess yourself. Don't be so stressed out. Because we have um, judgment here, which is karma. And karma doesn't have to be bad. So I feel like, you know, with the um, affinity, like, this is cycles of karma going in and out, like going in and out and needing just to balance that energy because I feel like this is karma, something faded for you. But, you know, spirit here uh, is really trying to guide you to keep going, keep going because you've got success and victory there with the chariot, like riding full force ahead in that chariot to success, victory, balance, harmony, energy. And, you know, Judgment here can be about, um, you know, usually it's about forgiveness. It's about a resurrection of a situation. It's about making a final decision um, and that kind of energy. So, yeah, making a final decision here. So, yeah, I think you're, you're just, some of you may be juggling around, am I investing wisely? Is this the right direction I'm going in? The chariot there, yes, which is also seven, that divinely guided spiritual number. And was a seven over here with the man holding a coin. So you need to change three, two, five. You need to change the way you, you're thinking, feeling, acting. Um, just keep moving forward. This karm karmic cycle will close eventually. And I feel like it's not bad. It just means it'll close and you will be in that king of wands energy. Very successful. And you may not see it now. And that's why you have all that stress, worry, anxiety. But. It is there. It's coming in, I think, in 2020. All right, so we have be gentle with yourself and spiritual protection. So I feel like, you know, maybe you've just gone through something this past year and this next year you're taking time for you, you're healing, uh, getting over things, you know, counting your blessings, learning your lessons, and spirit is protecting you through your whole journey here. All right, for some of you. So not every single thing. Um, wow. In this reading may resonate for everybody, but uh, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So we have the high priest here. So, and that's that spiritual energy, faith, spirituality, religion, whatever it is for you, the high priest. So yeah, really um, here being divinely connected with that spiritual energy, with the high priest energy and being committed to taking care of yourself. Because, you know, the high priest can't talk about commitment, marriage, uh, structure, value, morals, doing what's just and right, um, integrity, you know, that kind of energy. So really, you know, knowing your self-value and worth, having that integrity and those morals and values and uh, just healing yourself, doing what's best for you, all divinely guided spiritual energy with spiritual protection. So, wow, spirit just came through that card so now we have the nine watts yeah you've been through something here in this past year you feel beat up worn out tattered um it's like you've been through you've been through it it's like i've been through it i don't know if i can fight and continue on persevere on but spirit wants you to stay committed to moving forward because the nine of wands you know they're worn out they're beat up they're like just ugh, i can't do it anymore but then they somehow find the strength that's what strength over here to keep fighting and moving on. So spirit wants you to keep fighting and moving on. Staying committed to that. So what else do we have here? Death. Yeah, so I feel like something ended here for you in the past year. It could have been anything. It could have been relationships. It could have been a job. Um, it could have been um, ending bad habits, addictions, obsession. I mean, anything here. So the death is about, I mean, maybe for some of you, um, Maybe you were really, really sick and now you're getting better. Maybe some of you did have somebody pass away and you're really trying to heal and recover from that uh, loss. Um, and spirit wants you to know, you know, what spiritual protection. I feel like also it could be your passed over loved ones protecting you, looking over you. 
But it also could be just things coming, you know, to an end. Getting rid of toxic energy no longer serving you. Just ending that. Yeah, something here. Total burden here again. Ten with an ending. Uh, very burdensome, tired energy here with the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, death and Ten of Wands. Yeah, completion of something here. Like I said, nine and Ten of Wands. That fire energy. Leo Sag Aries. So, definitely here... Um, you know, you've ended something, definitely here. Put a bit of marriage, because we do have the Hierophant here, which can be about marriage. You know, and maybe you tried and you tried with the Nine of Wands to work it out, work it out, work it out. And then it's like, you know what? I've tried and tried. We've tried and tried. I just can't do it anymore. Um, so ending that situation, it was just too burdensome. So what else? Pulling these two right here. Wow. So we have the Six of Cups. So this could be somebody you were with for a very long time. This is uh, about um, things of your childhood, of the past, nostalgia, memories, you know, old friends, family from your childhood, or it could be someone you were with for like, seemed like ages. And then you have the Ace of Wands. So now it's like a brand new beginning here for you. A lot of passion, drive, ambition, that go-getter energies we had over here. So I think you just con will concentrate on you in the next coming year. And um, having this excitement for uh, new creative beginnings of some kind, growth, expansion. Um, I mean, some of you could be moving towards a new soulmate because we do have that soulmate energy over here. And it's someone you could have had past lives with. And now it's like a fiery, passionate new beginning here with the butterfly here for transformation. So butterflies may mean something to some. Um but yeah, so however that resonates for you, so different energies there, I feel like some could be, you know, walking away from someone they were with for a very long time. It could be going to a new passionate beginning with a soulmate that um, you could have had past lives with. Or this is just you, um, you know, reconnecting with old friends, family. Like I said, maybe, you know, someone leaving someone or a situation that you were with for a very long time. Now just concentrating on you, feeling fiery and passionate um, about life again, moving forward. So let's see what the prosperity begins. The King of Cups. So being in a very loving, compassionate um, energy, peace, harmony. Um, so, I mean, we do have prosperity begins in harmony. So the King of Cups could be somebody who was in love with somebody, has a lot of deep feelings and emotions, but they may not express them. So if you haven't been expressing to somebody how you feel about them, you may be doing that next year. All right. Male, female, doesn't matter whoever's watching this. Or if you're watching this and you're wondering about somebody else, could be uh, energy reversal here too. Whoa, so please keep that in mind. Um, this could be somebody coming into you. All right, so I just had a few cards fall on the floor here. Ah. Uh. All right, let's see what we have. So we have the three cups. So this is about reuniting, coming back together, celebrating, having a good time, going out for a drink, meeting up, a cup of coffee, whatever here. So reuniting, celebrating, rejoicing, having a good time, harmony there. And we do have the three of wands again with the three. You know, maybe you waited, maybe you've had to wait until, you know, karma completion here. So maybe you had to wait until something completed here before you could reach out to somebody. So, you know, it's patiently waiting. The three of wands, like you see something in the distance, you want to go for it, but it's not the right time. So you have to patiently wait for the right time to go for it, for it to come in, you know, kind of energy. And then you have the six of swords. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, you're going in a better direction, going in a more peaceful, harmonious, um, balanced energy. You know, leaving all this energy behind and going into a much better place with the six of swords energy so it's a nice energy so if you are coming together with a soulmate or a twin flame i see a lot of happy times rejoicing celebrating meeting up catching up for a drink cup of coffee i feel like you've had to wait until karmic completion before you could uh, move forward in a better direction and i do see love and emotions here with the king of cups stable new beginning and a uh, peaceful harmonious connection here. So that's a good energy. So let's get a couple more for this energy for the fire signs. 
Wow, so we have the star and the hermit. Wow, so some of you have maybe did some really deep reflection here with the hermit energy. Gone in, really reflected, because you see the light of the um, finding your way, your light. And then here's the star, you know, guiding you, um, guiding you here towards the soulmate. The star is divinely guided energy. It's faith, hope, optimism, healing energy, something divinely guided for you. And some of you went in and did that deep soul searching, how you, how you felt, how you feel, what you want, you know, and really thinking about this and knowing, okay, I found my light, I found my way, and it's this person, the soulmate. Wow. Wow. So that's a lot of big energy there with uh, two major arcana here. Boom, boom. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, my card's in reverse. Yeah. Wow. So now we got the Nine of Cups. Not only... And then the Ace of Pentacles underneath, which is a repeating card over here. So Knight of Cups is uh, joys, joy, happiness, fulfillment, and um, wishes and dreams coming true. And again, with the Ace of Pentacles, the stable new beginning. Stable new beginning there. So my cards are upside down. Yep, so some here are having wish fulfillment and a stable, new, prosperous, prosperous, beginning here coming in 2020 i see work career finance i see love i see spiritual protection spiritual uh connection reconnection awakening um passionate fiery new beginnings coming in here all divinely guided for you in 2020 fire signs wow a lot of energy okay fire signs um i do ask though if you like how i read to please do like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do four different readings a month. You won't miss out if you hit the bell. If you do, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for your support for the ch to the channel. really means a lot to me. If you, you know, reach out for personal reading, donated, um, or just subscribe, like, share, all that stuff, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's growing a lot lately, and so I am so happy. I'm connecting with everybody, and you like my energy. So thank you so much. So good luck to you here coming in 2020 Fire Signs. I'll see you for the next bonus reading. Don't forget to leave your comments below what kind of readings you like to see. I can do anything you want. And I'll see you next time. Good luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.